Hey everyone, my name is Peter McCarron. I'm with the LaunchDarkly developer experience team, and I'm here today to talk to you about a new integration between LaunchDarkly and Datadog. Recently, the Datadog team released a new capability called Workflow Automations, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Workflow Automations in conjunction with LaunchDarkly to not only remediate issues, but also progressively roll out new features. So let's dive in. So in this demonstration, we're going to show you how you can use the new workflow automation feature with LaunchDarkly to be able to both remediate issues as well as progressively roll out new features. So if you've used Datadog and LaunchDarkly in the past, you might be familiar with the flag trigger integration. Essentially what we do is we say if a user encounters an error, we could trip an alert on a monitor and that monitor in turn could trigger a webhook, which will then shut off our flag. But what if we could use other capabilities within the Datadog platform to be able to detect issues before they happen for our customers and be able to remediate those changes? And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. Let's walk through the setup for our first demonstration. On the left side of the screen, we have my LaunchDarkly environment. I'll be using this to roll out changes to our application. Our application in this case is our Toggle Outfitters web store. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace this reserve yours button where we fill out some information and then we get reached out to by a specialist in three to five days with a new add to cart functionality. That'll make us more streamlined and ability to be able to sell things to our users directly from the website instead of having to contact them over the phone or something. On the right side of my screen, I have my Datadog workflow automation set up. What this is doing is this is listening to a monitor, which is connected to a synthetic API check. The API check is going to see if my API is functioning properly. And if it is, it's going to return a Slack status that says the API check has passed. And if it's not, it's going to turn my flag off and it's going to tell me in Slack that there was a problem. So let's turn the feature on and see what happens. So I turn this on. We roll our changes out. We see our add to cart button. Let's give it a test and see if it's working. Oh no, all right, looks like there was an error. looks like there's a problem. We should probably go turn that flag off. Right now that we're doing this as a very manual process, right? We're now having a live environment where our customers could run into errors. So what if instead we could remediate the issue using this workflow? So we'll turn this off and then we're gonna go into our monitor and we're gonna resume scheduling on that. So now what we're doing is we're checking this pathway of API slash checkout to make sure that things are functioning properly. If they're not, it's gonna set off a monitor and that's going to disable the feature for me. So imagining again, we've scheduled this out, we've turned our changes on, maybe we didn't know that that error was happening or this was happening at an off hour. What we can do is we can run this test. Test is gonna load. And as you can see, we're already starting to get error messages. Now, if you look at the left side of our screen, you might've missed it, but this actually ran and it shut off the flag for us. So what exactly happened? Well, if we go back to our workflow, we can go into our run history and you'll see that we had a successful run where we said this monitor was triggered. So we had that monitor set off the alert to our workflow automation. It then checked the status of the monitor to verify that it was in an alert status. We did in fact see the overall status was alert and then we turn the flag off. And if I go over into my Slack screen, you'll see that we have a new message saying that there was a problem with the new billing API. So think about how quickly that happened. We never had to initiate any action on our end as a user. What happened is we automated this process where we could say, we know that there's this backend API that could cause problems if it's not functioning correctly. We checked the monitor, that monitor set off an alert, which triggered this workflow to shut off the flag for us automatically. Pretty awesome, right? Well, let's think about this from the other side. How could we use this same kind of setup to be able to automate the rollout process and be able to increment changes? And I'll show you that next. So now that we've seen how we can use workflow automation to be able to remediate issues in conjunction with LaunchDarkly, now we're gonna show you how you can use the same type of functionality for a rollout instead of just turning a flag on or off. On the left side of the screen, we went ahead and we fixed our problems on our add to cart button. Everything seems to be working now. We can add items, we can clear them out. Everything is great. At this point, what we'd like to do is we'd like to update our product catalog to include some additional new products. And in order to do that, we're going to once again use LaunchDarkly. I already went ahead and set up this flag where we have this new product experience access flag. And we're gonna start out by rolling out only 25% of our users seeing the new product catalog available. Right now it's currently off and we're going to use the Datadog workflow automation to turn that on and then increment the changes. On the right side of the screen, you're gonna again see one of my workflows. This one's gonna be a little bit more complex. We can go ahead and zoom out here. 
you'll notice I have a number of different decision trees that are all going to operate based on different statuses that the flag is in. So this is a really powerful way for us to be able to have very complex logic and be able to run different routes depending on things that are happening within our LaunchDarkly environment. Rather than using a monitor this time, I could use a schedule. So maybe I know this release is gonna happen on the 13th of the month, and I'd like to trigger the change to run this workflow to let me know if we're ready to go, and then I could iterate every day, every minute, or whenever I want. Again, we're gonna run a synthetic health check to make sure our backend API is working, and then we're going to turn that flag on but using a start rollout function in Slack, and then we're also gonna increment it. So let's run this manually so we can see this happen in action. So we're gonna run our first change. I have some parameters that I've already hard coded in there. We check our status to make sure things are working. And we see that we're at our first decision tree. If I go over into my Slack, it says the API appears to be up and running. Should we continue the rollout? We can go ahead and approve this message. So it shows that I approved it. And now you see that this, this changed. And if I ref refresh my launch darkly screen, you'll notice that our flag has now been turned on again with that same 25 and 75 percent so this is great now let's imagine that this has been going for a little while and we have this manual schedule we have this schedule going where it's going to run every day so fast forward 24 hours we run this again use the same variables and this time our logic is going to look a little bit different whereas last time it asked us if we wanted to roll out the feature what's going to happen this time is we're going to get a different decision tree if I go back into my Slack, it says the initial rollout was a success. Should we increase the audience size uh, so they can see our new products? And we say, yeah, that sounds great. We're going to approve that. So we approve this. We can refresh our screen again here. And you'll notice that we're at now at a 50-50 shot. So think about this for a minute. We're running this right now manually, but I could have set this up to where it's running on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. We could see what the impacts of our new feature are. In this case, our new product catalog, if we're seeing people who are actually liking it, uh, we could expose it to more folks, or we could say, actually, we're gonna revert these changes back. So let's say we're gonna complete our changes here. So we're gonna roll the, run this one more time and then fully increment things. So we'll change this. Gonna up our increment to the remaining 50%. We'll run our changes. Once again, this is gonna double check that the API is working properly. We'll again get a Slack notification asking us, the initial rollout was a success. Should we increase the audience size? We can improve that. We can roll our changes out. That'll update our changes. And you'll notice that we have another decision tree here that tells us, congrats, the rollout was complete. So we were successful and able to get this over to 100%. We can look, we now see we're at 100% of our increment. And if I look at my screen here, we see we now have our new goggle features available to run. Now, what would happen if I forgot to turn this off? Fortunately, I can have the decision logic in there so I can tell my users if the rollout has already completed. So we'll run it one last time. Here we go through our workflow once again, checking to make sure that everything is correct. We go here and it says we fully rolled out the new feature. So this is a really powerful way for us to be able to utilize our observability tools in conjunction with our feature management tools to automate the rollout of our process and make sure that we can catch things as they happen in real time. So now at this point, you might be wondering, how do I get started with this tool? Well, to get started with workflow automations, go into your Datadog dashboard, look for the work, workflow automation tool, hit new workflow, and you'll be presented with a screen like this. This is where we can add our triggers as well as our different steps that will be used to execute different actions. Through most of the demos that I just did, I was using the launch darkly ones. So if you type in launch darkly, you'll see that we have a variety of different actions available, including things like creating a feature flag, being able to get a percentage rollout, which is what we used on the last demonstration, as well as being able to toggle a feature flag on and off. And if you're curious about where to get started, you can actually go into the workflow automation tab here, and they have these handy little blueprints that can help you get started. Just go ahead and type in launch darkly, and this will show you how you can do ones like the incremental release feature like I did, as well as remediating by toggling off a feature flag. And there you have it. We can use LaunchDarkly and Datadog workflow automations to be able to automate our rollout process, remediate issues, all using the power of our observability platform combined with the power of the LaunchDarkly feature management platform. For more information, go ahead and check out launchdarkly.com. Have a great day.